Yes, my autophagy and autophagy are very important in Parkinson's disease because one of the major problems are how, um, for example, mitochondria are a clearance, and this is not, we can say, a major, a first impact, but I'm, I'm gonna focus for now for, on mitochondria because our lab is very mitochondria based. So the role of the mitochondria in Parkinson's is because there are some familiar Parkinson, for example, related to LARC2 or alpha scene, in which the impact and in the, on the mitochondria is very, very huge. And so the autophagy and the mitophagy is something which is impaired in Parkinson's disease, for example. So the importance is just like to find, for example, what I do in my project, just find new target or just like test small molecule to improve the deficit, for example, in mitophagy specifically. We have a really nice model, which is cells, Parkinson's derived patient cells that we reprogram in induce neuro neuronal progenitor cells. So after this, we differentiate cells into neurons, and they are like neurons that retain aging future from patients, which is, in a certain way, we got the neurons from patients, which is very nice. And what we do with this study, just like what I'm doing in this moment, we do actually a lot of things in our lab. What I'm specifically doing is just like testing small molecule or genetic manipulation in order to improve the pathological phenotype. In our lab, we have many collaboration with industrial partners. In my project, the collaboration is with Virgenomics, which is a company from the States. And the way how we collaborate is they find targets involving Parkinson and we validate in our model system the targets. And that's very a good collaboration. We are very like close and it's a good thing to, I think, to collaborate with industrial partners.